Happy Prince One day, in heaven, God found two of his servants just sitting there doing nothing. They looked unhappy. Hey, it's heaven. You can't just be unhappy here. What is the reason for your unhappiness? We have nothing to do. We're idle, and that's why we're unhappy. Okay, go fly down to Earth. Find two best things from a city and get them to me. And thus, the servants of God flew away from heaven to Earth. The statue was located in the heart of the city. He was covered with gold. His eyes were made of blue sapphires. There was a precious ruby on his waist belt. He set an example for everybody on how to be happy. Hence, they called him the Happy Prince. Oh, my baby. Why are you crying? You have to be happy, just like the Happy Prince. Soon, winter came. The sun was setting and a swallow bird was looking for a shelter for the night. He flew near the statue and thought, I can stay at the feet of the statue for a night. I won't feel cold here. And the bird stayed there under the statue between its two legs. Soon after, a drop of water fell on the bird. The bird looked at the sky, but the sky was clear. Where did this drop of water come from? It's not raining. And the second drop fell on the bird. The bird was surprised. He decided to find another shelter for himself. So it came out, looked at the statue, and what a surprise. The statue was crying. Hey, why are you crying? You are the happy prince. No, not anymore. Why? What happened? When I was alive, I was very happy. I stayed in the palace and never came out. I used to play in my garden in the daytime and dance in the evenings. I was like every other human being. I also had a heart like you all have. I spent my life happily in my home and never knew the life outside the walls of the palace. I was very pleased with my small world and that's why they called me the Happy Prince. But now, as I am dead, and they have put me here high above the city, I can see the other side of the coin. I can see people and their sufferings. Even though my heart is made of metal now, I can still feel their sorrows, and so I cry. Oh! Why are you crying now? I can see a lady living little away from of the city. She is too poor to feed her baby. She is stitching a dress for one of the queen's ladies for a dance in the palace. Her little boy is crying as he is hungry and ill, but the lady has nothing to feed him. She can only offer him water from the river. Oh, what a pity! Could you please take my red jewel to the lady? She is in need. But I have to go to Egypt. All my friends have migrated there as it's winter here and it will be warm in Egypt. Please, do this as a favor to me. <sighs> okay, I'll stay with you tonight and go to that lady tomorrow morning. Thank you, my friend. In the morning, the bird removed the prince's red jewel and flew in the direction the prince had indicated. The bird flew over the city and then over the palace. The bird saw a few girls dancing and a beautiful girl standing in a window. <sighs> I wish I could get my dress in a day or two. Why does that lady take so long to stitch? The bird flew over the city, crossed the river and reached near a village where he saw the lady sleeping in her small house. The bird put the red jewel on the table then, he flew around the bed, over the baby boy. With the moving air around his face, the baby boy fell asleep. The bird flew back to the prince. On his way back to the city, 
the bird went to the river as he was very thirsty. When the bird was drinking water from the river, a rider saw him there and thought, Oh, the bird is still here. It didn't migrate to any warm climate. He is fighting with the climate not suitable for him. I should learn something from him. Although I'm starving, but I should finish my story soon. The bird then returned to the prince, and the writer returned to his house with a story in his mind. It's strange. I'm feeling warm, although it's cold out there. It's the warmth of the good deed you've done today. Yes, you're right. I'll fly to Egypt tomorrow. Don't go, please. I need one more favor from you. Oh no! What is it now? Far away from the city, I can see a writer who is writing a story, but can't complete it as he is starving. And there is no fire in his room either. He stays in a little room on the top of a house. What do you want me to do then? You take one of my eyes and give it to him. Your eye? I can't do that! Please do it. It's a precious blue stone from India. It'll help the writer to live a good life. Okay, I'll stay with you tonight and go to the writer tomorrow morning. The next morning, the bird took out one of the prince's eyes and flew away to the writer's house. He found the house easily and entered through the hole in the roof. The rider was sitting on his table with his head down. The bird kept the blue stone on his table and flew away. The rider looked up at the stone. Did I say it is a gift from one of my readers? Thank you, my anonymous friend. The rider was happy to have the precious blue stone. As the moon came up, the bird returned to the prince. I've come to say goodbye to you. I'm going to Egypt tomorrow morning. Would you please stay with me for one more night? Oh, Prince, it'll be winter here, and there will be sun and warmth in Egypt. I must go there at the earliest. Please stop for the sake of a little girl's life. A little girl's life? Yes, there is a little girl in the square. She was selling the eggs, but they have fallen down. And they are broken. <laughs> now the girl has no money to take home. Her father will hit her if she goes home without money. How do you want me to help her? Take out my other eye and give it to the girl. Her father will earn good money by selling it. Thus, he won't force the little girl to work. Rather, he'll send her to school. No. No. I'll stay with you. But I can't take out your other eye. You won't be able to see then. Please do it. Please. The bird was feeling very sad to take out the prince's second eye. He took the jewel to the girl and dropped it in her hands. The girl was very happy to see the jewel. <laughs> what a beautiful piece of glass. And she ran to her home. The bird returned to the prince. He felt very bad for the prince, as the prince now had no eyes. You are a good prince. I won't go to Egypt. No, now you please go to Egypt. It'll be difficult for you to survive here in the winter. No, I won't leave you. And the bird stayed there. He told the prince many stories and entertained him. The prince was happy to hear them. Oh, my friend, please fly over the city and tell me what is going on. The bird flew over the city and told the prince what all he saw. The bird then returned to the prince. Rich people are enjoying eating and drinking in their houses. On the other hand, the poor people are still starving for food and looking for shelter. I saw a few small kids suffering in this winter. They're staying under a bridge, but the guard didn't allow them to stay there either. I'm covered with fine gold. Take them and distribute them to the poor ones. 
they should not suffer. The bird, sadly, took off all the gold from the prince's body and gave it to the needy people. They were happy to receive some gold. I'll have my bread now. 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 And then came the snow. The whole city was covered with the snow. The bird couldn't survive in that freezing cold. He died one night. When the prince came to know this next morning, something cracked inside him. It was Prince's metal heart which broke. When people saw the dead bird at the prince's feet, they complained about it. A few officers came to the prince. Isn't the prince looking ugly? Yes, he looks more like a beggar than a prince. And the dead bird at his feet, yuck, who will clean this mess? I think we should remove this statue from this place. We'll replace it with another one. They removed the statue and burnt it. But the broken heart of the statue didn't burn. So, they threw it away. After a couple of days, the servants of God returned to heaven with two things and offered it to God. What have you got for me? There was a bird and a broken metal heart. God asked them why those were the best things of the city. The servants told God that the heart belongs to the statue of the happy prince. You did a good job. Really, both these things are the best. I'll keep them in my garden. The bird will sing beautiful songs. And the happy prince will stand in my city of gold.